What's up, Brazers? Welcome back to the channel for something a little bit different. Most of you know what the Super Sunday Cup is if you're in the channel Discord. Um, it's a community run championship or series, whatever you want to call it, that I run on Sundays, hence the Super Sunday Cup. The Super Sunday Cup is in its second season and when I say in its second season it's actually just finished we've just finished season two and we're looking to start season three next weekend on May 17th and boy oh boy is it going to be an absolutely insane season this video is just so you understand what's going on a little information video for you it's also going to sort of cap off round one of season two as well because unfortunately uh some of the video files got corrupted so i can't you know commentate on the racing footage which will happen on round two round three round four and round five of season two which will be coming the rest of this week so five days in the week i know five days i'm super clever monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday five videos from the Super Sunday Cup. So it's going to be a mini series this week. I hope you enjoy the races and the commentary on it. And I hope that just builds a little bit more hype for season three as well, starting May uh, 17th, if I didn't already say that. I know I did. So what is the Super Sunday Cup? Um, you know, I've always flirted with the idea that I wanted to start a, a league or a, a series or a championship something that the community can to play in um and also something that i can reward the channel members for as well you know i i originally put it out like hey we're doing this championship for those channel members whoever wants to join you can come in and have some fun and then when i've sort of given them the opportunity to get in it then i open it up to the public and um it's pretty insane how many how many people want to join in season one it was a test season um and we did it for five rounds so over five weekends it was a lot of fun season two we again over five rounds the uh the the, the layout of the championship changed a little which i'll we'll talk about when i talk about how this season sort of runs or the series runs um more like but season three there is three times as many people set up to race over the uh, over the, um, the the championship over the season, but I will talk about that. I will talk about season three at the end of all these videos. So after round five, I will set up season three for you guys, so you know what to uh, look out for. So this community championship, it's not about winning. It's not about being the fastest. It's, it's about having fun. And some of the best moments from season two, for me, have been hearing about the battles and the races that other people have been having. So, you know, whether it's me battling for a second, third, fourth, a first place, whatever it is, there's still people who are having fantastic, enjoyable battles for eighth, ninth, tenth. And I think that is a massive part of, you know, what I want with my community. I want it to be fun and enjoyable. So it's not like, there's a goal for first place and anyone who doesn't reach that, it's not enjoyable for them. It's just about having fun races with really cool people. And I think season one and season two, we've got a, a formula down that makes it really enjoyable for everyone. So let's go over some of the information for season two of the Super Sunday Cup. It's over five rounds. And obviously, I'll go over those five rounds and let you know what kind of vehicles they're in. It's a one make championship. So each round has one car that everyone is in. So it makes it a very even playing field for everyone. There isn't any tire wear. There isn't any fuel depletion. So it makes it a little bit more even between steering wheel players and pad players or controller players. Each round is laid out like this. Two sprint races, two 10-minute sprint races, followed by a 30-minute feature race. The first race you can qualify for. So there's a 10-minute qualifying session that you know qualifies your starting position for race one. 
race two is then a reverse grid from race one and then race three the feature race there is a additional 10 minute qualifying period before that race three starts my favorite thing about the super sunday cup is this rule in race one if you finish in first second or third in the second sprint race you must take a drive through pit stop which means you just have to drive into the pits you don't need to change tires you don't need to put in fuel you go in you come straight out again this gives the opportunity to everyone else on the track to possibly get a race victory so maybe those top three they're really fast they go one two three in the first race then because it's a reverse grid so they start from the back in the second race and then they have to do a uh, drive through pit stop as well gives the opportunities to other people to have a chance at a race win and therefore making the points more even over the uh, rounds and over the season as well so it makes it interesting as you're going to see over the course of the next five videos then obviously for the feature race the reverse grid and the drive through pit stop doesn't apply because there's a separate qualifying period and then we go into the race and it's just a flat out race for 30 minutes basically. So the way the points system works is this. First place, 25, second, 22, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 4, 2 and 1. So if you're 11th or below, you don't get points. In the feature race, all the points are then doubled. So it is then, you know, 50 44, 36, 30, etc. So there's a big chance that if you mess it up in the first two sprint races, there is that chance in the feature race for you to gain those big points. Also, extra points are given for fastest lap. So there is a chance to get an additional two points per race for getting fastest lap. And also, if you are the pole sitter in either of the qualifiers, you also get an extra two points those points could be very useful by the end of the season so that is kind of it for how the super sunday cup works it's super simple there's no livery restrictions or anything like that i just would like people to be expressive with their car liveries unfortunately in one of the rounds i didn't have time to get a livery on the dodge viper so just you know be nice, bear with me, because I didn't have a custom livery on it. I'm just, you know, a factory setting noob there. So here we go. We're going to talk about round one, which was the Aston Martin DBR9 GT1 around Brands Hatch. So the way that it works, obviously, I've already said that there's two sprint races and there's a feature race. So we are at Brands Hatch. The two sprint races are around Brands Hatch Indy, and then the feature race is around the Grand Prix layout. Another apology that I'm going to have to make is that I'm making all of these videos after the last round has been done. So I'm making this, all these videos, on Sunday the 10th of May. And this round, round one, was over two months ago. So I can't really remember much that went on and I don't have the video content as well. Um, all I know is the results. So that's what we're going to go uh, through the results right now with you, just so you know. Unfortunately, you know, I lost the video content for them, so I can't make videos as I wanted to. But round two, three, four, and five are all going to be fantastic videos over the next couple of days. So I'm just going to breeze through this real quickly, um, and then hopefully you're excited to see the videos tomorrow. So race one went like this you can see the points on your screen right now vlx Krizzy came out on top i was in second rob in third dylan cliff in fourth smirnoff potsy steven bean yeeted shapaps taps and dirty coil are in the top 10 you can see that Krizzy has a plus four next to his points which means he had the fastest qualifying lap and also got the fastest lap in race so the first race of the season went to Krizzy and then obviously myself and Rob filled out the podium which means in race two 
myself, Krizzy, and Rob had to do a drive through penalty. Moving on to race number two then. These are how the points played out. In race two then, the results are as follows. CSX Steven came in first, also linked up the fastest lap time as well. Smirnoff in second. I managed a third place. Potsy in fourth. Dirty Coil in fifth. Dylan in sixth. Krizzy in seventh. Shapaps Taps in eighth. Be Yeated in ninth. And Rob in tenth which had the following impact on the overall points. As we look here, we have myself moving up to first place with a good podium finish there, and Krizzy down to second, as he did finish that second race a little bit further down the order. Smirnoff up two positions in third place. Really uh, saw a good consistency from Smirnoff over season one. Didn't win many races, but he was consistently in that second, third, fourth area which gave him a really good chance to gain some good points over the season. Steven with a very good win there moves up three positions into fourth place. Dylan moves down a position into fifth. Potsy keeps his sixth position. Rob moves down four positions into seventh. Dirty Coil up two and Bean Yeated and Shapaps Taps stick in ninth and tenth as we head into the feature race. The results for the feature race, the race three, then goes like this. CSX Steven once again takes the first place. I finished in a strong second, also got the pole position in qualifying, which gained me an extra two points. Krizzy came in third, also getting the fastest lap in a race, which got him two extra points. Rob came in fourth, Smirnoff fifth. Dirty Coil 6th, Bean Yeated in 7th, Shapaps Taps, GRT Bertman 23, and GDA Potsy got the top 10 there. If my memory serves me correctly as well, Dylan Cliff had a slight technical difficulty that meant he was ejected from the game. We can only go as far as blaming or thanking Gran Turismo Sport for that disconnection so a big amount of points missed out for him this occasion is that going to haunt him in the later rounds of the championship so this is what it's done to the race points the total points at the end of round one of season two of the Super Sunday Cup finishes like this myself in first place with 86 points CSX Steven closing the gap to just three points and moves up two positions into second. Krizzy moving down one position with 73 points. Smirnoff moving down one position as well as Steven makes the climb up towards the top of the table with 58 points. Rob up two positions again with 49. Dirty Coil doing the same, moving up with 31 with the absence of Dylan Cliff. Potsy moving down to 7th with 26 points. Dylan Cliff unfortunately not being able to score any points in that final round is sitting in 8th. Bean Yeated and Shapaps Taps with 18 points and 14 points round out the top 10. So there we go. That is the uh, end of round 1. Sorry I didn't have any race footage for you, but tomorrow's video is going to be much different. I hope this intro to the Super Sunday Cup gives you a little bit more information of what's going on in Discord and behind the scenes. And hopefully in the future, you yourself would like to join in the Super Sunday Cup too. So that is race one over and done with. I'm sorry for the lack of footage. Obviously, technical difficulties you can't really run away from, especially with Gran Turismo Sport, it seems. Round two tomorrow is the start of the actual video content where you will actually see some racing so keep your eyes peeled for the video tomorrow thank you for watching liking and subscribing this should be a good week of videos thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel as always and we'll see you in the next one